Hello, this is Joe from Joe's Transformer Toy Reviews. I'm continuing on with my Combiner Wars series with the, the Protectobots, Combined Form Defensor. We have here is Streetwise. He was a uh, police car. He still is. In the original series, uh, he had a very bizarre transformation where the hood would come up revealing his arms. Um, I always found it really difficult to get him to transform right without the hood flying off. And uh, I never really cared for the original one. This one I do find to be better. He is based off the same mold, the um, race car mold, that uh, Dead End was uh, based off of for um, the Stunticons. And uh, they believe they made a number of uh, improvements to the mold. I've seen comments where they said that this mold was initially designed for uh, Prowl and Mind, this, mind, this um, modified version of it. I guess, but I don't really honestly see any problem. Of note, his bio stated that he's supposed to be very um, non-violent in taking down criminals or Decepticons, and that his gun's supposed to shoot some form of uh, non-lethal tranquilizer-style device. It's a trouble barrel shotgun. It's a shotgun. There's no, I'm going to stop someone by tranquilizing them, he's going to blast a hole through them. That's what that looks like to me. I don't, I wonder if there was some type of indictment on police officer work, but honestly, that's just what the figure looks like. I'm not gonna, this is not for a comment for anything going on right now. I'll save that for another video. It's not anything to do with toys. Um, I actually found he, uh, in anyone with this particular style of combiner part, the combiner accessory, this is probably one of the weakest ones I've ever seen, because I don't know what that's supposed to be. It's got a laser style weapon or something. It just doesn't look very appealing to me. Um, that being said, the original Dead End figure had some minor, pretty major issues in my opinion. The hands weren't drilled properly, so they were really loose no matter what you put in them. The only thing that worked properly in them was the pipe that he came with. Just a pipe, no other real guns, or long-range weaponry. And it just felt really bizarre bringing a pipe to a fight of any kind with giant robots. Um, there's also, of note, there are ports on the side. You can port in any standard weapon. Um, the original one, uh, the original Dead End, you had to kind of do that to get any type of, um, aiming out of the combiner weapon, whatever it was supposed to be. Um, with Streetwise here, not really necessary. Okay, so, uh, he, he would retail for about 10, 15 to 20 bucks with comic, um, the IDW series. I don't remember which comic he came with, but it was a decent comic, I would definitely recommend reading those. So, uh, that's where the hood is. Um, I actually like the way that it transforms. It's kind of a nice little maneuver. He is a little bit better, uh, but he's, well, he mostly shares all the same parts with uh, Dead End, but the few, with minor modifications for a police vehicle and the uh, improvements, minor improvements I mentioned. To me, it makes a big difference. If a robot can't hold, his, can't hold a weapon, then like, if a transformer can't hold their, their accessories, then it kind of makes it a big deal, a big problem for me. So let's go ahead and transform them into a race car, or a police car, race car. Let's remove the weapons, the accessories, fold in the fists, straighten the arms, flip up from the chest, and bring up, actually you can pull down the arms too, and you bring up the uh, hood, push that in, and that kind of folds where it's supposed to be. And move the windshield in. Flip the waist around. Mine it. Or connect it. Flip up the portion there that goes underneath the car. Flip this over. And pull it down. Alright, so Dead End was a maroon colored uh, race car, kind of generic. Um, was a decent design. I find this one to be a little bit more appealing. The place look, the white, I do find to be a little bit more 
not appropriate, but a little more appealing, I guess. And you can put the weapon on top and the gun on the side. You can flip that around if you want. Nickel Gaze using it as he's driving around. Not the best interaction with his tools, the gun and commander accessory. That's the biggest. I find it to be one of the biggest uh, negatives for him. It just that's no real way to interact with that tool. So let's do the transformation into a leg. Remove both parts. Flip out the thumb or the heel, I guess, in this case. Connect it here. Now he did actually uh, streetwise here. It was actually supposed to be the right or left leg. I don't remember, but he was cannon can in one of the legs. So this is the strongest point. Bring the windshield. Fold this whole assembly. Do not unfold the head. You can get the whole thing to move and flip oh, on itself. There's a way to get this to flip a little more neatly, but that's generally how it's supposed to look. There we go. Let me just flip this up. Other than do special, I tend to not have the guns. These are pretty big for a deluxe size robot that he is, but when it comes to big uh, combiners, this is kind of out of place. So I give him like a leg gun. I like it like that. So it's a decent uh, looking leg, solid and everything like that. Now as an arm, basically, now this might be a little bit off from the way they show it. And fold that, you undo the legs. A good rule of thumb, if you don't can't figure out how the arm was supposed to go, you basically undo the legs of the deluxe uh, size robot, because that's kind of how it works. He does have to flip out this red portion. It's the connector. Because that is where the arm connects to. I find this, in the end, restricts too much movement and creates this cowling around the arm, which I don't care for. Oh, yeah. So also, you have to make sure that those parts match up for him. So you fold up the hand, the usual stuff for the arm. And that's how the arm would work. It's a decent arm. Actually, he's a little better than I would have thought, but uh, I think I'm also supposed to move the arms of the robot up here. It does impact motion for the shoulder. That's cannon. Um, not a big fan of using it as an arm, to be fair. But you can always find ways to get around it. So, um... He's uh, recommended, not as highly as in the other ones, not quite as solid, especially not as an arm, but uh, definitely a recommended figure, much more so than the original mold, just because of the minor differences to me, minor changes are very welcome changes. He needed them. So, um, recommended for children, recommended for collectors, um, do feel, feel is a good character, good figure. Um, so that is it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below on YouTube. Um, please like or subscribe to the video. This is Joe from Joe's Transformer Toy Reviews. Thank you very much for joining me.